The goose and its golden eggs. Once there lived a farmer in a certain village. The farmer had a goose which laid an egg every day. It was not an ordinary egg, rather a golden egg. The farmer sold the egg and got much money every day. Soon he became rich. But the farmer was greedy. He wanted to become richer. He was not satisfied with one egg a day. One day, he thought to himself, My goose lays one egg every day. What if I cut open her belly and get all the golden eggs all at once? Then I will surely become the richest man in the village. He decided to kill the goose and get all the eggs together. So he took a knife and killed the goose. But alas, there was not a single egg in her belly, he was highly grieved because now he would not get even one single egg. Moral Greed brings grief. The Monkey and the Crocodile there was a beautiful lake surrounded by lush green grasses, beautiful trees and mountains. There lived a monkey on one of the trees that bore juicy red rose apples. A crocodile and his wife lived in the same lake. One fine day, the crocodile swam up to that tree and requested the monkey. We are very hungry. Could you please throw some of those apples for us to eat? The kind monkey threw him a few apples. The crocodile enjoyed them very much and asked the monkey if i come back would you give me more of those apples the generous monkey happily agreed the crocodile returned the next day Soon, the two became very good friends. One day, the crocodile told the monkey that his wife was very pleased with the apples and she had asked the crocodile to bring his friend to her. Please, please friend, Grant my request. 
come to our house with me. She must see you. She is very grateful to you. The monkey said, but, but how can I go into water? I, I cannot swim. The crocodile offered to take him on his back. The monkey accepted and the crocodile rode him to his house on his back on the water. As they reached halfway, the crocodile told the monkey, My wife very ill. In order to get well, she wants to eat something special. So she asked me to get her a monkey's heart. The monkey realized that he had been foolish to trust the crocodile. He quickly thought of a clever plan to escape. He said, Alas, friend, our hearts are not inside of us. We have to keep them hanging on trees. I wish you had told me earlier. Let's go back and bring my heart. The foolish crocodile swam back. As soon as he reached the bank, the monkey jumped off his back and climbed up the tree. Goodbye, friend, he said from above. Your wife will never taste a monkey's heart. The crocodile had nothing to do but repent for his foolishness on being tricked by the monkey. Moral Presence of mind often saves us.